That is right, Megan. Ronnie Musgrove served as Mississippi's 67th, 62nd, I should say, governor. He says his efforts to push for changes to the state flag almost 20 years ago cost him both politically and personally. The state has been paying a price for 126 years to have a flag that didn't really represent all of us. Former Mississippi Governor Ronnie Musgrove reflecting on the monumental passage of legislation that takes the divisive symbol of the Confederacy off of one of the state's most visible symbols. Musgrove says back when he took office in the year 2000, the legislature would not pass a flag change, and he refused to authorize the existing flag. That led to the referendum vote in 2001. By a two-to-one margin, voters said they wanted to keep the flag design with the Confederate battle emblem. Musgrove says Mississippi paid a price for that decision. We will never know how many business opportunities, job opportunities that we lost because we didn't change the flag 19 years ago. Now that the measure passed, all that remains is the signature of Governor Tate Reeves. When he retires the current flag, a commission of nine will get feedback on a new flag design, from the popular hospitality flag to other designs that citizens are creating, with the stipulation that they have no Confederate emblem and the phrase, in God we trust. I will take that phrase any day over what we've had. The flag might not be the one that I would personally design, but I, I can feel comfortable that whatever design is put before the people will be one that has the ability to unite and not divide. Musgrove says the flag change was the first easy step for lawmakers. Now they must address systemic racism that has left African Americans behind in the state. From criminal justice reform to defunding of education, the lack of good job opportunities and the problems with access to good health care. As for those who lost the battle over the Confederate emblem, one viewed by many as a symbol of hate, Musgrove says this. They got what they wanted for 126 years. Uh, it, it's not wanting anything that's good for the state to have something that's completely divisive. And that flag was divisive. Now, former Governor Musgrove says he salutes the lieutenant governor and the speaker for having the courage and the leadership to get that flag change measure through the legislature. Now, Governor Tate Reeves expected to sign that uh, piece of legislation, change it into law tomorrow at 5 p.m. Reporting from home tonight, Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News.